we want to get to a place where within 10 years we can have a billion travelers every year experiencing our way of traveling with our own community of hosts. But we also want to make sure that we're strengthening neighborhoods we're in. I do not think those are mutually exclusive goals that are at odds with each other. I do think it's going to be really hard to do, though. The majority of hosts depend on Airbnb to pay their rent or their mortgage or their living expenses. When you stay in a community, you participate in the daily life of locals. You tend to patron local coffee shops. You go to local restaurants. So as long as we're responsible about it, I think that communities can be stronger because of Airbnb. But I'd also don't want people to think, oh, therefore, we should get to a billion. We have a right, and we don't care about communities or everything about us. No, there are things we've done that have had a negative impact on cities, and we need to confront that. And that's something we as a tech industry need to do. We can't just say that we have this algorithm, we have hundreds of millions of people, and therefore everything's good. Nothing that hundreds of million people use has zero negative externalities. That's ridiculous. Of course it does. And so we just need to make sure we know what those are, we're consciously making trade-offs, and we're consulting all stakeholders. Airbnb is collecting and remitting hotel taxes in 400 cities. We will soon be collecting and remitting hotel taxes in thousands of cities. And it appears that we are on the path to collecting and remitting more hotel taxes than any hotel chain in the world.